Hi, this is Glenda from techmamba.com and we are reviewing something a bit different by Lida Verambi. So um, you might be wondering why the heck we're reviewing that. Well, it's a good price, it does the job and it's really less work. So I'm going to unbox it. Um, basically, it's a robot sweeper. So be sure uh, to know that it is not a vacuum like the Roomba and it does not have sensors, which equals to it can practically take a dive and off uh, and roll down and basically have a crack uh, sweeper. So here it is. Basically, uh, the description is simple to use wireless robot that navigates autonomously around your floors collecting dirt with a disposable cloth. So it does the same job as a Swiffer sweeper, but I don't have to push anything around. And it also looks cooler. I can do other things while it's rolling around. And it could be a good distraction for the pet. So let's open it up. Oh, it comes with uh, obviously one Virobi robot, one battery charger, free electrostatic cloth. It's pretty uh, tightly sealed. And it takes eight hours to charge this thing. So let's toss this around. So as you can see, I flipped it upside down. So it has a big surface here and it just has Velcro which you put all the, the electrostatic cloth, I'm having issues with this, Let's pull it up. Now, I have to make sure I don't put it upside down. Mm, it's the same thing. It doesn't make any difference which way it is. And the little wheels rotates around here. Around. It has two cleaning modes. It has the 120 minutes and the 30 minutes. The 120 minutes is like when you have time and 30 minutes is like you're scrambling to do something fast. And it basically sells for $40 compared to the Roomba which is 300 to 500. One very important and cool thing is it is available in Canada and European countries. So the US for once is actually left out not having it. So let's go see you how you can easily charge it. So you just stick it in here and now we're going to go charge it and then give it a roll. So let's start it up, do a 30 minute uh, cleaning uh, and see if it really detects objects and uh, stop and turn around. As you can see, once it hits an object, it goes in another direction. It does a pretty good job of sweeping the floor with the pads, but it gets stuck when there is water. So make sure that everything is dry. Here you can see it's going on from one type of floor to another, no problems at all. It did get stuck once under the door stopper because the robot is about the same height as the door stopper. Also, if you have small carpets, it can get stuck on it, but most of the time it frees itself. In short, it does a good job. Uh, it just does not, not understand the trajectory that it went through, so it actually cannot detect the room like a Roomba. Uh, it is more expensive 
for the refills than the uh, Swiffer Sweeper uh, refills, but it is really like 38 cents versus 40 cents each. So I am pretty sure you guys find it cooler to uh, spend the 40 cents and also doing less work than actually buying the, the Swiffer Sweeper. Uh, refills and uh, one also good thing is as you can see it picked up a lot of dust and hair also but it cannot go over liquid so don't attempt this as it will get stuck and it cannot do it there is around uh, the uh, the robot itself there's a big surface in terms of the circumference uh, for the cushion so when it hits an object it lifts up and acts as a barrier to protect it from uh, breaking and uh, in short I would say it is a good buy I give it a thumbs up for the price for the, uh, the job that it does for the convenience and also that it is not loud and this is Glenda from techmamba.com thank you and have a nice one